We're sitting next to the Klipsch R20B reference soundbar. And if you know anything about Klipsch's R10B soundbar, then this thing looks very familiar to you. This is your classic upgrade job. It has a couple extra drivers and a larger subwoofer. Same power set, same basic design, but a little bit of a heftier price tag as well. The similarities between the R20B and its sibling are striking, but there are some differences here. The screen is clear, so you can see straight through to the extra drivers. Instead of two three-inch polypropylene drivers, the R20B has four of them. To go along with dual three-quarter inch tweeters, made it to Klipsch's Tractrix horns. Like the R10B, there's no real visible digital interface on board, just some basic control keys for source, mute, volume, and then an LED to tell you which source you have selected. And you can see that pattern basically repeated here on the small remote. Uh, the only difference is the Bluetooth pairing button here and the 3D button, which will activate virtual surround sound. And you can see at the back of the bar, very similar succinct interface. We just have a RCA analog input here and a digital optical input there along with a main power key and the power input. The sub gets an upgrade on the R20B as well. Same solid MDF enclosure here, but instead of an eight inch subwoofer, we have a 10 inch side firing driver. The sub automatically pairs, so the only control on the back is a power key and then this volume control here to raise or lower the sub power. The same 250 watts powers the Klipsch R20B that you'll get with the R10B, but there's definitely more power in the low end. However, it wasn't quite as musical as the 8-inch sub. We like that sound a little bit better, though you'll get more thunder from this sub. Overall, there's a lot to like with the sound here, though. It's clean and clear. You'll hear every piece of dialogue. There's a lot of extension in the high end, and there's nice balance and good control of the dynamics overall as well. While the performance here is solid, we expect a little more in the feature department at an $800 price tag. There's just not as many options as you'll see in other soundbars in this class, and we think the R10B, which has now dropped to as low as $500 online, is your better value.